Welcome back, everybody. We are back in Hogwarts Legacy. On our first day as a student, Petunia Penniless here is looking for power and eager to learn. So, we're going to continue exploring and then we're going to make our way to our next class, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Looks like this girl wants to talk to us. I think she's one of our Slytherin friends. So let's see what she has to say. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Now, was that like, was that sarcastic since we lost the contest? I suppose we'll be a little bit arrogant here. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, we should take a quick look at this statue, perhaps. Revelio. Let's see, something kind of dinged or tingled. There's something up there. Was it the lock? It was the lock. Level one lock. All right, so I guess we get some lock picking at some point. Looks like there's a chest in there. But we can't break into it and steal it now, so let's get a move on. Uh, let's track our next class. Apparently we hit level two, that's good. Uh, quests. Attend Defense Against the Dark Arts. The field guide map shows Professor Hecate's class is, is in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in this castle. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. Let's track that. Located on the map. Uh, so, let's see. We can kind of zoom in a little bit. Where is it? It's on the lower level down here. And then there was a way to, let's see, the astronomy wing. Let's zoom in on that. There we go. There was a way to see the different flu flames. Now, where are we? We're over here. Looks like we need to go down. I'm, I'm not sure I can figure this out just right now. So let's just follow the compass here. Now that we're tracking the quest, we can follow our little bird friend. Revelia. Something tingled. The thing we already saw up there, and there's... Was there something else? Yes, there's something over here. What are you? Another flu flame. Okay. How nice to see you, my young friend. Professor Fig's classroom. Right. Okay, let's keep going here. Oh wait, what is this? Another level one lock. Okay, we better learn this lock picking uh, pretty soon. Definitely finding lots of things we want to steal. <laughs> While not getting caught, of course. Keep going down. Who were you? Pavelio. Nothing in particular. All right, let's keep going. There's another flu flames over here, I think. That one we already had. All right. Man, this uh, this castle's pretty big. Oh, there's a field guide over there. I can see it. Did she just pull a cup of tea out of her pocket? All right, let's see what this is. Revelio. Field guide page. Augury skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Let's 
see, where are we going? We're going further down, I think. Okay. This thing looks like another field guide, maybe. Rebellion. No, to the left. There's sort of, there's little bits of rumble in the controller that tells you, and there's a little bell that rings. So something nearby kind of reacted, but not this thing, whatever this is. I guess let's just, uh, let's just uh, leave exploring a little bit more for later. Oh, what is that? Let's go to class. You've got. Uh, oh, uh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right, we get to learn a new spell. Now, let's try something a little larger. Kind of screwed up in the charms class. Let's show off a little bit here if we can. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Break through yellow shields with control spells like the levitation spell Levioso. Levioso! Now, well done. Okay, that was fairly easy to understand. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. <laughs> this should be easy. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Levioso. Protego. Complicates things. Levioso. I do. Jump like a duel. Okay. Combat is our specialty. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. 
A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. We have a follow-up here to speak with Sebastian. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, <laughs> let's see. He's Slytherin. He's our house. And we want to... He seems like he has some hints about spells that might not be taught in the standard curriculum. So I think we'll, we'll indulge him a little bit. We'll uh, make him feel like he's part of our inner circle by confiding in him. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. That sounds very intriguing, especially if there's rewards for the victors. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Well, we're definitely interested in Until that. Next time. He took his loss uh, in pretty remarkable stride there. He did not seem too upset or, you know, angry or resentful about it. We have a new quest available. I should speak with Luke and Brattleby about the secret dueling club. Now, didn't we cross wands round one? Didn't we have to do something else like going into uh, the town to buy supplies or whatever? We've got a couple of question marks here. All right, well, let's go, let's go to do this right now. Uh, if we go to the map, we've got collections, challenges. Still, I'm still learning my way around the inventory here, but if we go to the map, side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked with a black flag and discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward experience but do not advance the main story. Okay. So over here at the South Wing, we have crossed wands. Yes. Okay, let's go do this right now. Seems like we have the time. And uh, we don't have a flu flame, so we'll have to go there the old-fashioned way. Let's go. So I do like the way that they're kind of giving the opportunity to be quote-unquote dark so far. Because it's starting out with sort of rule-breaking and light-hearted mischief and maybe like emotional immaturity of being arrogant and condescending and what have you. But there's no, so far there's no like, oh, I'm a murderer who's snuck into Hogwarts, you know, which really would be a little bit like a step too far anyway. Let's hop in here. Oh, we've got a, we've got something here. Revelio. Whee! Ah. Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. 
But he failed us, did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Wee! I'll get you for this. <laughs> okay. Some sort of toilet ghost with a penchant for mad hattery. Haunted toilets. Unless in dire straits, it's probably best to avoid this particular toilet, as it is allegedly one of Peeves' favorite pranking spots. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a thing. Let's keep going here. That is highlighted. Let's see what that's about. Rebellion. This entire map here is a thing. Map of Argyllshire. This map depicts Argyllshire, a region in Scotland which contains the Hebrides, native home of the Hebridean black or Hebridean black dragon. All right. Now, is there a flu flame around here, or is there some some? How do I find those? I suppose I just kind of revelio everything around me. See, did you hear the bell ring? I think it was for that thing. Oh, there is a little chest here, though. Fringed house scarf. All right. Now that's still lighting up. Lumos. Levioso. No. Okay. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. So we're outside. We're in the castle grounds. We've got a lake. We've got cliff sides and what have you. And we're heading into... We're heading into... The South Wing. All right. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Okay, did we pick up? Yes, we picked up a flu flame here. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. So I can't remember. How do I? How do I activate these? Revelia. Lumos. <laughs> I can't remember how to actually use these. Did they did they tell me how to use it? <laughs> oh, I guess I just fast travel from here to another one. If I click on this, for example, and go click on that, then I can I can travel. Okay, got it. Uh, but meanwhile, Revelio. what are you? Lumos. Hmm. It's something, but I don't know how to interact with it yet, so I guess I'll just shoot it. Not good enough. All right. Let's go talk to, Lu who is it? Lucan Brattleby? Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does Cross Ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Oh, hell yes. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Absolutely. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Oh, you think so? Initiate round. Break through yellow shields with control spells. Target lock lets you track enemies without aiming. Got it. Okay. There goes my way. Is that all you've got? 
Took a hit there. Okay, took a couple hits, but got the victory. I'll sign up for a round. <gasps> nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up. And you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Okay. Let's see you back here again. Quest complete. So there's dueling arena. Not sure what else we do here. I was looking to see if Sebastian was going to hang around to talk to us, but I guess not. We've got the the flu flames there. Oh, we can talk to him. Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. Okay. So, what do we do now? Quests. Meet with Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley wants to see me in her classroom, which is off the Transfiguration Courtyard. Located between the library annex and the astronomy wings. Hopefully, she has word on replacing my lost supplies. Okay, let's locate on the map. In the astronomy wing. I guess you have to come over here. And then the closest flue flame, it looks like, is right here. So let's travel there. Okay. Are we going right back where we started? Looks like we've got a little bit of a courtyard here where students can hang out and have fun. That's nice. But uh, let's keep moving. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. There's a goblin named Deke. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? <laughs> Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Yeah, uh, okay, so with the other students, we can be a little bit snobby, a little bit kind of put them in their place, make sure they know who's the boss. But I think with the professors, she's going to play the part of an obedient student here. Uh, she did have to lie directly to Professor Weasley's face there, but that was a separate issue. For the most part, we want to be a good student in their eyes, right? It doesn't really get, serve any purpose to be known as a bad kid. You want everyone to think you're a good kid so you can get away with doing bad stuff. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. 
Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Okay. Uh, I think we'll. I think we will dig in a little bit here. I, I guess they're just providing funds for us, which is good because we're broke. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Very well. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah, I don't think we want to spend too much time with Nat Natsai. Uh, she seems like a good girl and she kicked our ass in the, uh, the Accio challenge, so I don't think we particularly want to, want to dwell on that. Sebastian seems more our speed. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay, Rookwood and Harlow. Maybe we can do some work for them, get, get paid. Maybe they have some magic artifacts for us or something. Let's, let's uh, keep those names in mind. Uh, speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Professor Ronan would like to speak to me about some additional assignments. Very well. Let's see where we're headed. Not too far away. There's just a random cat here. Oh, we saw another one earlier, didn't we? I guess there are just cats at Hogwarts. Just hanging out, getting pets, purring at the students. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Yeah, okay. Uh... First of all, just right there, we saw a field guide. The Wyvern Fountain. 
This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Okay. Collect the flying page near the broken statue and collect the flying page in the defense against the dark arts tower. All right. We've got one over here, I think. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. So the professors are going to make us do kind of weird jobs in order to learn magic and whatever. It's a Mr. Miyagi style teaching method. I guess we can't really do much about it. There it is. Okay, let's Accio that. Oh, hold on. Come back. Got it. Got it. Okay. And then there's another one in the Dark Arts Tower. Let's go get that one. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. <laughs> Got a side quest there. Oh, here we go. Come here, you. Brilliant. Okay. help me with my sad predicament. Zenobia Noke is here, like pretending like she's not trying to get our attention. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oh, that's interesting. Why? What did you do? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Okay. I suppose that would be interesting as long as you're not the loser. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Yeah. I can, I can sympathize with that if I'd lost. Of course, I wouldn't have lost, but um, this little girl seems pretty judgmental. Sounds as if you caused a smelly situation, and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. All right, well, we can't make any promises, but I suppose if we find them in our explorations, we can come back and see what kind of reward you're willing to give us. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Yeah, I think realistically, Petunia doesn't really give a crap about her. And there was only a vague hint that there might be some kind of reward. So we're probably not going to put a lot of effort into that. Let's go, uh, let's go play Goody Two Shoes for Professor Ronan so we can learn this new spell. Oh, yes, it was very fun collecting your pages for you, Professor. I love doing I busy work. Keep an work. eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Uh, there he is. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor, 
Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, whoops. There was an X there, not an A. Okay. The mending charm reparo can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Repair. Something quite satisfying about using the mending charm, isn't there? Revelia. Hmm. Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, I don't know about that. Let's let's untrack that quest for now. If we find them, that's fine. But uh, gobs of gobstones. Let's untrack that and go back to our main quest here. Professor Weasley has arranged for me to visit the nearby village of Hogsmeade and replace my lost supplies. Meet Sebastian near the entrance to Hogwarts. Got it. Got it. Okay, let's go. Oh, so there's just random pages floating around that we can capture. I, do they have... Do they have... If we go in here and look at collections, what are we picking up here? Those are clothes. Field guide pages collected with Revelio. What about Accio? What do we have in here? So we have the Kelpie statue, the map... The Augury Skeleton, Haunted Toilets, and Wyvern Fountain. So whatever it is we're snagging out of the air is just like a random, random collectible. There's no, like, there's no lore associated with it. Every time I'm there... I guess I can't break pots. Not like in Scotland. <laughs> what is this thing? Revelio. Something dinged. Oh, there's a there's a page up here. Okay. So that's just like a random experience boost. There's no there's no entry for it. Fair enough. We'll just keep that in mind. And here's Sebastian. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Let's go. I don't know. He he's he's ambitious, but he seems a little too friendly for Slytherin. But then again, maybe he's like us. Maybe he makes a point of being like charming to people when it doesn't serve his interest to be mean. Okay. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. If I had to pick of one course. Choice, I'd be glad You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. The only one? You weren't that good. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. 
spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Glad to be of service. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Fair enough. Good tip. Thank you. So I suppose that's a, that's a kind of an indication that you can wander around outside and find ingredients and such. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Griffins? He's already seen the hippogriffs. Oh, hippogriffs. Absolutely. Like we already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds to all students. Oh. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. We're definitely ah, going in there. You can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. So if we look back at the school, where's the... Yeah, that's pretty remarkable. This is, this is a pretty cool like model or world that they've built here for this game. I mean, you normally only see the exterior of, uh, of Hogwarts sort of from an aerial shot as the train puffs in at the start of one of the movies, but this is, this is right down on the ground. You get a real feel for it. It's pretty cool. Bit of a long trek here to Hogsmeade. I assume at some point we get either a a wand or a hippogriff to fly back and forth, or maybe we can just take flu flames once we've unlocked them. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. <laughs> she just doesn't answer I've him. I always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. And we run some more. I suppose it's good to keep in shape, right? Strong magic requires a strong body. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys, I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Hold on, what is this up here? <laughs> Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say you can improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. All right, we've made it to Hogsmeade. Guys, I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, uh, we will proceed into Hogsmeade and find out about how to, how we're going to pay for all this stuff or who's going to pay for us. 
Presumably we'll get our wand and then head back to the castle for our, our second night in the Slytherin dorms. So, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>